culture is rather busy. We tend to go very fast. We tend to, to move quickly in every direction, and, and things tend to pull away from us. As we get to study nature, we get to study ways of connecting with life. There's many different lessons that we can learn from them that will enhance our experience, allowing us to be more grounded, more alive. We look at this tree. There's a lot of lessons we can learn from this tree. Uh, this tree it has two different parts. One that you can see, one that you can't. The part that we see, it's expanding upwards towards the sky. It's reaching for light. It's reaching for the sun, gathering warmth using its leaves from the sun, it's creating, it's, it's breathing, it's, it's gathering energy, it's creating life in its leaves that it can transport into its, into its system, into its roots, into its, its trunking center. Another part of the, the tree that we do not see is its root system. We all know it's there, but sometimes we just don't think about it. There's a lot of unseen factors with the trees. Half of it we don't see. And that's the part that's connected with the earth. Everything below. As the tree reaches up and out, it also goes deep within the earth, creating roots, creating structures to gather minerals, to gather water, to hold it in place. But as this tree holds itself in place, it also holds the earth in place. It holds the space around it in place. So this tree is connected to many, many different things around it, not just on itself. So we see how this tree has a center from its, from its trunk, and it expands up and out towards the sky, seeking warmth. It also goes deep into the earth, looking for water, looking for minerals, and other sources of nourishment. As we learn from these trees, we see that ourselves, in order to be very nourished and very healthy, we should probably have different practices that allow us to seek into the earth to look for nourishment, to look for water, to look for minerals. We have other practices that should allow us to open up and expand outwards, to use our body to move. Movement is life. As we expand, we can, as we explore the differences between that which is very deep and still versus that which is very active and, and growing, we learn to find a balance in between all of these things. We can breathe and, and notice our center, just as the tree has a center. And we can find many different techniques to bring more health, alertness, aliveness, and awareness into our lives. We can understand that we ourselves can become trees. We have a lower part, we have an upper part. For a moment, take your feet, spread them out, shoulder width apart, take your toes, Open up your toes like your hands would be and grab the ground a little bit. Think of lining your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips, your hips over your knees, and your knees over your ankles. Create a little bit of space in your armpits. Allow your hands to be opened up. Here, our lower body is almost like our roots. Our upper body, our arms, are almost like our branches. We want to focus on our trunk. We're going to focus on our center, our physical center of gravity. For a moment, you can take your hands and you can find your belly button. Let your hands come below your belly button. Let yourself take a deep breath. Breathing deep in our belly, you feel your belly, your abdomen expand it outwards and come in. If you breathe deeply, you feel more centered. If we don't feel centered, oftentimes we can be breathing up into our chest. We can hold all this tightness up in our branches. Sometimes we get sort of stuck with stress, we worry about things. Sometimes you might get a headache. Sometimes you just go really, 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 really fast. This, this stuff happening up in our branches. One way to change that is to get deep into our trunk and deep into our roots. So by breathing deeply with our diaphragm, this muscle that comes underneath our ribs, as we breathe deep with our diaphragm, it presses down and push our belly out. And you can even breathe in a way that you can pull your back out. So you 
for this expansion. busy world, it's nice to find moments of silence. As we stand in silence for just a few moments, see if you can notice yourself breathing. See if you can notice your, your pulse or your heart beating inside. we explore our trees, trees have, they are always growing leaves, things are always coming from the roots, up and out. But then in the, in the fall time, in the winter time, everything draws back into the roots and deeper into the ground. So we're this idea of expanding and contracting. I'm going to show you a breathing exercise, it's called ocean breathing. Just like the waves would come, if you ever imagine being at the ocean, where waves would come and hit the shore, then they would draw back. The waves would come and hit the shore, then they would draw back. With this exercise, we're going to be able to shift our weight from our toes to our heels. We're going to breathe in, we're going to shift our weight forward, as we exhale, we're going to shift our weight back. Linking our upper body to our lower body. As we breathe in, we're going to expand our arms up. As we exhale, we're going to allow our arms to come down as we sink onto our heels. Breathing in. Exhaling. Sinking back to our heels. Becoming a wave. know from being around water, from being around the ocean, that that wave can be very, very peaceful. It can be very, very centering and quiet. So after practicing your ocean breathing, finding the expanding and contracting waves, it's nice to place your hands back by your belly button. Take a few deep breaths in your belly. And stand like a tree. 